All right, I've finished all the work. Now, it doesn't look that pretty, but as you can see here, I soldered this low voltage wire that I got from the spare transformer I had sitting around. I heat shrinked it, but just to be safe, because I don't know if heat shrink is aquarium safe or just making sure it's also sealed, I siliconed over everything. Looks bad, but just wanted to make sure it's all sealed. Um, run the wire up through inside and out. Or technically outside and out, inside out. Um, out back with this, and the low voltage wire comes into this timer. Now, like I said before, you got to remember where these little parts go, because that's the mechanical switch that actually goes from the timer to the switch. It's a lever, and then this is the manual switch to take it off timer and just on. Now, soldering and redoing the timer was a lot of fun. Uh, you have to take the wire. There's a wire coming from this plug here. This part of the plug. Oh, by the way, I should mention this right now. This is not a UL approved <laughs> device anymore. Um, so do this at your own risk. Um, because what, what ends up happening is you're putting a low voltage device in the same box as line voltage with uh, no shielding between the two and uh, that does not meet code so anyway um, the, you see the screw right there that's actually the contact for the prong on the plug um, what they had before was a wire coming from here going to there, to that screw right there, and then a wire coming from here to the prong, or to the plug, so that this would switch the plug. So what I did was I took the wire off of here, or one of the two, I can't remember which one it was, but I took the wire off of there and took it straight to the plug so that it would be constantly on, it would not be on the timer. And then brought the wire in from the light that came from here. As you can see, I just cut it off right here. And by the way, I'm going to be removing this either just by hacking it off here or trying to pry it out of here. I'm probably just gonna hack it off because it's completely useless now. But I don't want this open connection being submerged in, in the damp location. Uh, for you know obvious reasons, there's copper uh, can mess up the system, uh, kill off bacteria, kill fish, and then whatever's inside here can start leaching toxins into the water. Anyway, back to this. When you rewire this, or when I did, it was quite interesting reorganizing the wires inside here so that it would all fit, putting some of them back where they were, like the uh, neutral here. Uh, that white wire that goes right back where it was um, but since this wire just getting it squeezed all back in here uh, if you do this just make sure that um, you're not pinching any wires you don't break off this uh, uh, I th that looks almost like a shunt to me but it might be a capacitor or a resistor I don't know um, probably a resistor um, but anyway yeah just getting all the wires organized in here so that when you close it up you're not pinching anything cutting anything off I have already tested this um, I just took it back apart to finish this DIY video um, <coughs> I sealed this a little bit just to give the wire some retention um, and uh, I'll put it back together now and turn it on but anyway, just to sum summarize again, soldered, heat shrinked, and silicone these up throughout here. This wire, low voltage wire, to this switch. The wire that was coming off of here 
is gone, completely removed, because it came from the prong there. Took the wire from the plug, the positive plug, straight to the prong, and then wired the two uh, low voltage wires to the contacts on the switch. Alright, I'll put it back together. Well, here it is, up and running. Seeing, looks like it's working great. Put a little uh, Crip Lutea in the middle there with uh, some, uh, what's that called, the Seachem gravel for plants fluorite? I can't remember. Uh, just with some pea pebble around the outside. By the way, that, that gravel you get at the pet store, you can get the exact same river rock or pea gravel, whatever they call it, at Home Depot in like a big bag for a lot less money. It's the exact same stuff. have a bit better variety, too, in it. Anyway, but as you showed you, I got my little marine land heater in the back. Right now the light's on. The pump is working. And down here is the timer. I got the lights off so you can't really see right now. But if you see here, uh, hold on. I'll get a light on there. Alright, see there's the timer. And you can see I've already re got it configured. But just to show you that it's functioning, and it's off. And uh, the light on the top is still working. I thought these had a moonlight that shine down, but I guess not. But I'll twist the timer again. And there it's on. And I'll set it back to the current time. Six thirty. And there we go. All right. Well, that's the modification and fix actually if you have one of these that has the bad magnetic switch in it that is the method that I used to fix it and that's a really bad picture but anyway it's a little devoid right now but like I said I'm just setting this up and getting it working and everything's good and by the way I did cut off I already threw it away I cut off the uh, magnetic switch on the inside so that it wouldn't corrupt the water chemistry. But anyway, that's it.